We are the prophet day. Okay, bring one chair for the in-law. Prophet, sit down near your, your in-law. Thank you. Yes, my brothers, my sisters, make we hear, make we continue from where we stop. Uh, Prophet, good morning, sir. Good morning, my ordinary president. You say your name na Prophet E. S. Shumuba. Sir? Prophet E. S. Shumuba. Yes, sir. You hear the allegation where, where your mother-in-law carry come here with your brother-in-law? Uh, some people that called me, I didn't start early. So from and you know, if, if you go to YouTube or Facebook, go play and back, make you hear all the allegations. I tried, but the ones I was seeing is uh, about uh, Mustafa. No. The presidential candidate. He was unable to nah. upload to my phone. Okay. Well, we do. Um, Madam, I see the don't near you there. Make yes. you resource. Sir. Sir. Which tribe you be? I'm an Igbo man. Igbo man from where? From Anambra State. From Anambra State. Where you the carry Pekingo? Oh, the wife is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You say you are from? Anambra State. Okay. And I know, say, Igbo people from Anambra, then they respect their elders and their in-laws. Perfectly. Even if... You marry, you marry from somebody where you senior and for age. But by Ibon Pekin where, where you marry, you go drop, drop your age one side, you go respect him as an in-law. That is the way it is. I know see you respect your mother-in-law. Uh, when I know they greet uh, our mother-in-laws for Igbo land, no matter how the misunderstanding day, she's not your enemy. She's the mother of your wife. She's the mother of your wife. You don't disrespect her, no matter how. One day, your children will grow. Your in-laws will go marry your children, go do the same thing. To you. And that time, maybe age go down, they tell on you. You no know, feel reversal. Please, no matter what, blood is thicker than water. This woman deserves respect from you no matter what i know you are you are pained you are angry at what what is going on but that does not stop you from respecting her anyways i have uh, can you greet your in-law please good morning mm -mm, elijah culture they different from Yoruba culture so please he was there here yeah if you greet her how well the way he was they greet their in-laws so be it they go confirm them yes brother Ty. Uh, Barista Ogo? Before I go out, now the president. Uh, I'd still be able, man. No, be like that now. Have a. How do they greet you? Just say like, good morning. How do I do it? Can, can you position the microphone in my own properly? Culture, in my own culture, mm. in Anambra State, mm. it's a normal greeting I've greeted, even my mom. You are not mm. talking morning, to the mic, sir. This mic is not like this, it's like okay. this. Thank mm. you very much, sir. So. Mm. In my own as culture, I, as I greet her, good morning, ma. Mm. I don't know what you expect me for that. Okay, mm. I know being here, Amanda. I know see him. What did I hear? You do hand like this, good morning, and I see him. People I that are here. close, even I don't know whether that that's here. I say good morning, ma. From me. Na na na. Eh eh. Me kuna no. Please, it's mama. Okay. I beg. 
um, not be by force. My own advice, waiting I observe, and I don't tell you, say, if God keep you alive, if waiting you they do this woman not the right thing, nothing will happen to you. But if not the wrong thing, at your old age, your children's husbands will do worse than what you are doing to this woman. Please, so please, karma, no they misaddress. You know they misaddress. What we do today, in the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, we go see them with our eyes if we no die. So now what you make I talk be that. No be by force for you to respect your, your mother-in-law according to your culture. Madam. Uh, okay, Barrister Ogo. Yes, my ordinary president. Maybe in the Anambra culture, but it's not. Okay. But I, I said okay. maybe in the Anambra culture because. Okay, no somebody from so Anambra is saying, evil. Madam, come. Good morning, my ordinary president. Mm. I'm from Anambra State. How we used to greet. Let me speak Igbo. Oh, go on. Good morning, Keki. Na potassia. The problem. Mm. Don't touch her. Good morning, ma. My in-law. You mm. are still with your wife, the daughter. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Let's appreciate this woman. Give him the microphone. Give him. Um, Matt. Uh, but the good thing again be say very soon Ingo become father in law. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, so and uh, girls we sabi grow quick. Mm, mm. <laughs> very soon he go become father in law. And uh, I sure say the nah, same nah, that time the same plate in where I go take, clear. the same plate where he takes serve the mother in law, they go serve him with them. Hi. People know they understand this thing. Uh, mm. Anyways. You see, I see they look me with prophet. Uh, you see anything? You can, you, you are free to prophesy. You can prophesy for hey, me. Hey, I beg you, don't do <laughs> No, in case you see, make it tell us. <laughs> I hope uh, we're okay. You I see. beg, give, uh, give uh, the mother in law the microphone. Um, Ma? Sir. Make you tell us your story. Yes, sir. They tell uh, the the story that I told you people yesterday was that uh, my the uh, my this my in law came to marry my daughter. Samson Chimuba came to marry my daughter. Twenty eighteen, and uh, since uh, he married her. He have been treating her as a slave and deny, denying her so many things, beating her. The time that, uh, he came to marry her, we told her, we told him that uh, he will train her in the school. And again, he will uh, come and do traditional marriage and do white wedding he accepted wait, a minute, wait. that if wait if that road they don't catch him <laughs> they don't carry a confront of human rights radio uh, but, but with the cop Police, <laughs> all the roads and the manhole with the thief, all of them go come out unless police collect bribe, release them. Mm -hmm.
Hmm, so continue. Okay. Yes, sir. Anyway, madam. Sir. I see say you no be a person where they like talk too much. Uh, in law, collect microphone. Yeah. Good morning, ordinary president. Good morning. If you want Good to morning, you Barakate time. family. Let mm. me not waste time on greeting. Mm. Uh, I appreciate God for today. Mm. The reason why we are here is for justice and for good of even Sam's family. Sir, as he came for the marriage introduction, we presented three things that he's supposed to do, mm. which is our culture. Mm. One, Ibanku, which is traditional marriage of Igbos. It is on that uh, Ibanku that the two in-laws will unite. They will know each other. And even his home, the in-laws home. Then, uh, uh, wedding in the church. We told him wedding in Catholic Church then. Then thirdly, that he will continue to train uh, his own wife. I personally told him that training your, person, your wife to higher institution is for your own advantage, mm. not for my own advantage. Mm. He accepted these three things. That was how many years ago? That was uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. Then and, as she they, was, and she was 17 years old. That yes. Mm. As they left, that is the end. I did not even go to the genesis of the marriage. Mm. Because the genesis of the marriage is that Ada went for a program with uh, uh, my other, my in-law, mm. whom she was staying with, for a program in his church. The church is called the Solution Theater. After the, the program, as they said, mm. because I'm not good in going. Mm. So after mm. the program, Mr. Sam Oba called all the virgins should come out for prayer. Mm. That was when Ada went out at 17. She was virgin by then. Mm. As, uh, so she went out. Then the pro who called himself a prophet mm. saw that Ada is a young coming up girl. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Then at the end, he said that uh, he have seen the, the prophecy that Ada is his wife. And that is how the whole thing started, which I kicked against. I know how I fought for the marriage not to happen. But at the end, it happened because there are many things which was going on, they did not even tell me. Mm. They Before I knew it. They see you that time as enemy of progress. Yes. Mm. Even the day that we are going for introduction, I said, I will not go. Mm. That anything they are doing, I will not partake. Mm. But at a stage... Other my brother said, remember what my father had been telling us when he was alive. In any condition, mm. I must make sure that that peace is there. Mm. In order, for, because they have subdued and they have win by trying to marry a teenager that time. Then I have to go for the peace and the unity of the family. That is my family. Then at the end of the introduction, this thing was presented to him. He accepted all. Till today, none has done. But not only that one, the worst of it, which is annoying me, and I will continue to tell him, he was, he is coming to this place now, and he come with an elder, Igbo elder, with a red cap, Where with other the, people, support, the they are here, supporting him. For what? For no, the truth no, we no, are seeing. No, no. Just okay, sir. narrate your story. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Make, make so, bring a... for the elder. So, it's my father. Uh, so, mm -hmm. what I am, I have some questions for him. No, make okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Just, the, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you go block camera. You go block camera. Mm. So, what I am saying. Augusta, who are you?
is okay. my brother. Okay, daddy. Where do you begin? Okay, so so many things has happened since that. The first of Mugo, my sister, that is the mother-in-law. Came when they had their first baby, they stay, she stayed for some. weeks she bought cloth and other present that to her as a gift but within two days she was about to go she collected those gifts she collected it back to you today. She he did no, it. It's okay. Then I mean, uh, at the end, she out of those she collected, she gave her, she picked two rapper and gave out of the other ones. She collected because they had a misunderstanding. What was the cause of the misunderstanding? Mm. They went to the church. Allow me, I will they went to his church. On the time of offering, he was the one holding basket for people to the pastor him, the prophet. He, yes. Himself. So when they get home. The mother-in-law was advising him that you're supposed to have a usher. Mm. That is the work of usher. Mm. As an advice, that is the genesis it of... It became an issue. Thank you. Okay, so, so, so the, this woman, uh, daughter, now, now, mommy, G.O. <laughs> Abby? Uh, so, mm. so, that one is how the first... Uh, Or Mugo happened. Mm, mm. This one, she was coming. 2020, uh, Adan sixed for almost a year. He stayed in, uh, she stayed in uh, this uh, uh, federal medical center here. Mm. Mm, Jabi. Jabi here. When that sickness, started it was a depression what caused it two weeks after her delivery the second issue that was 2020. Uh, uh, sam two weeks collected the baby of two two weeks and the one that uh, see not that one huh? and take it a member Part of the ch uh, church, and, and carry her that from Abuja back to home. Wait, wait, wait! Oh. Separated her from her yes. two weeks old baby. Yes, from the other child. Yes, and gave it to a church member. member. An irresponsible church member. That is. It happened 2020. Go ahead. Then, and they brought up that back that he is no longer marrying. Yeah. Then, when we are about to plan. They called me. I said, no problem. No problem. Let us follow the case. Before we know, Ada sneaked and came back. On Ada reaching back, Ada coming back, immediately, I don't know what conspired between him and mm. he was, she was fight? distressed. Mm. And she was even as if she's running mad. mad. I will finish. I will, let me narrate how. Oh, yeah. No, Oga. Okay. He passed. You know, hold that one. Okay. Give her the second mic, sir. Okay, can I finish? When, when, he, when she came back to Abuja, uh, uh, her husband told her, her, his mother, because his mother, 
Yeah, is with uh, is with her, with them. Oh, he's living time. with them at that uh, time. Uh, mm. uh, yes, sir. Mm. He told her mother not to open the door for Ada mm. that uh, she will not come in. Uh, now, uh, but uh, her mother, as Ada st st stand outside, her mother pity for her, mm. opened the door. He he was not around that time. Mm. He, he she he she opened the door for Ada. Ada entered the room. She cannot stay without her baby. daughter, baby. Mm, mm. She just dropped her bag and uh, ran to that place. Uh, uh, they kept her baby. Uh, when she reached that place, uh, she, he, he have already told the woman not to open the gate for Ada to see her baby. And that uh, alone Ad can make a woman run mad. Ada now uh, knocked at the gate. Uh, the woman and uh, his husband just stood in the window, uh, uh, looking at Ada through the fence. Uh, uh, they are looking at her. Ada saw them, but uh, they did not open the door because uh, he it's have okay. told them. So, thank you. So, thank you. Uh, mm. so that one lead to the sickness of uh, Ada depression, mm. which when then when Ada she became sick for one year. Yes, mm. when she was sick, he's sick now. He started calling the in law to come. Then they came. We went. They said, okay. Which in-law? This woman? Uh, the he husband. Her, uh, yes. Uh, they call it, call it, yeah, because she's sick. Uh, they came. They came. If Namiya for leave her. Uh, what happened is that when we come, at the end, she was admitted in a um, medical uh, center. Uh, center here. Well, that, that, that was the time. To talk. You, yes. you, talk, to talk, they had you. So that time was the time the husband, that is my in-law, my sister's uh, in-law, mm. uh, husband, we went to and get half David. That was the first time I wanted to bring this case here. By that time we came, they said that you travel to Kaduna mm. to open a, a, another a, a, radio another station, radio station mm. and you will stay long. That was the reason why we did not submit our complaint that time. Then we went to uh, Human Rights. That time, National Atta Human was, Rights Commission. Yes. Mm. Then at the end of everything, Ada didn't get well here. They transferred her. We decided, let us go to UNTH. Mm. He was the one who sponsored the, the, the trip to UNTH. At that stage, five months from, I think, either August or September, that you people left for UNTH. Mm. They stayed there till November. The so-called husband didn't visit for one day. That was the time he was raising his upstairs where they are living. And he bought new car within that period. Mm. Then, by November, they discharged Ada in UNTH. Ada, that time now, is the mother, the mother of Ada, this one now, mm. that she is denied, he is denying to come, not to come to his house. Mm. He's the one who stayed with Ada, not to see other children. Mm. He has seven children. Mm -mm. He abandoned others mm -mm. for the sake of Ada. Mm -mm. For almost one year, he did not see them. Mm -mm. They only spoke of her. Mm -mm. Then, by November, they discharged Ada and give them a bill of 220 something thousand. Mm. They called this man. He said he's not bringing one couple. Yeah. Then, my father-in-law, my in-law, have to come. I say, come. I don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. Let us know how we can raise money for them to come back. We couldn't. Because I don't have. We look for that money for them to come back from hospital. We couldn't. They stayed from November. They spent Christmas there. That it, is hospital arrest. God, thank you. If you no not pay your bill, you will not you, go. Uh, they stayed there because of 220 something thousand. Which he, then, when my in law came, he went to him, please bring money so that my wife and the, you are, his, that's uh, my in law wife now, my sister and the daughter, mm. will come out from hospital. That was 2020 December. Christmas was reaching just like now. The condition Sam gave uh, the in-law is that if I am bringing money and pay that bill, Ada will not step to your house. From that hospital, he will drive and he will come back direct. Then the father said, what are you saying like this? How can my, wife, my daughter at Enugu, after staying in hospital at Enugu, enter Moto and pass without coming without come in to my house? That is the condition he gave. Mm. Then I told my in-law, no problem. It was 
January that people started helping. Even within that period, that my in-law wrote to you, still, we still come here again, but we couldn't get to you that time. Then it was January, it was January 2021st that the help started uh, coming. Come in. After borrowing from some people, some other ones started uh, helping and they were discharged. And that time, this thing was happening. And that is not even okay. But so, so when Ada, as God is doing this, Ada and my sister, they drove from UNTH, instead of going to their house, they come direct to our house mm. to relax for some days. Mm. Do you believe that after staying in our house for two days, it was like a miracle? It's a miracle. Ada became physically, mentally, everything okay. You know why? She was passing through psychological trauma. Na care and love she they lack that time. And when she can't come your house, that those things where they uh, where they miss, she can't get them. Normally, healing will come. If to say Una no stand for her, she for don't run mad completely. Yes. So continue. So after two and days, anybody who support this the way they do this game, may the same thing happen to Amen. all our daughters. All our daughters. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So, Ada became okay. Ada stayed that from that time till at home, he refused coming. Though he brought that money after some people convinced him to bring the money. But when he brought that money, it was late. We have already paid it. Mm. Then we used the money to balance some people mm. we borrowed mm. money for. Let me not say, let me, I must not say the one he did. Mm. But he did it because some people tell him, you supposed to do it. I convincing him to mm. pay for his mm. wife uh, hospital decision. You have two minutes so, to Okay, up. sir. Mm. So all these things have been happening. Even now, my sister is coming for Mugo. He bought he, the money she had been saving for Christmas. She have to go to contribution and collect it and bought things to come to Amugo. Mm. On his way coming, okay. they called him not to come to his house. Those things he bought for them, palm oil and all those things. And we are the one enjoyed it now. Okay. So, <laughs> it's okay. so now, sir, this is the reason. And what we want, my prayer is, please let him stop uh, calling my sister and my own mother. Even my grandmother in the grave for over 20, that we are witch and wizard. Okay, so, thank you. Thank so and, you very uh, much. Uh, okay. okay, and what? Finally. And uh, let him do the necessary things a man, a neighbor man, supposed to do as a wife. So if he do wedding, uh, if he do wedding, then that is the time the wife will have right. He have him himself have one day tell the wife, which the wife will call the father, mm. that he will tell him that if anything happens to me now, that uh, my brothers will collect all the properties. He have said it. Okay. So thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Give him the mic. Yes, madam, you want to talk? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, because uh, as, as, as it was, now, my daughter have turned against me. Uh, even uh, she have already told told madam, her, sir. Madam, sir, leave sir. her. Is she like, she be you get other children? Yes. If we know if said to this matter, forget her. Yes. The world will teach her a lesson. Yes. One day this man will betray her. Yes. Oh, oh. And the world will reject her. Yes. Yes. She will come back looking for you. Don't be beg her. You are the mother. She being a man, they deceive her where she they uh, the thing they enter. Yeah. We don't know what he take deceive her spiritually. Say uh, we now you be witch. She be witch. If own mother no be witch. If you be witch, then my mama too na witch. What him be that? What him be that? So madam, if you use your daughter against you, leave her. Face your other children. She she be she don't born. Uh, she go see now. No lay courses on her. Just allow the world to teach her a lesson. Please, no beg her. Him, where they do this, she be in father, follow and come. We go hear from the father. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ordinary president. I am here because I've been listening to your programs. 
And I believe you are an impartial judge. And it's a gift from God. I don't want to narrate all I've passed through. No, sir. You no. need it because this is an opportunity for you no. to say uh, your own side of the story. I will summarize. Please. But I'm not forcing you to summarize. My marriage with that big girl, my ministry is after Dunamis. We're on the airport road, very close to the express. I do my, I concentrate on deliverance, healing and deliverance. That is what I am called to do. Before I married Abigail, they were members of my ministry. The issue of vision. She and who? Her auntie, her, her, the husband to the auntie, the younger sister to my mother-in-law. They were members of my ministry. How my mother-in-law's younger sister came it's a long story how he had issue with one man in Gogolada. She came with pregnancy. So when I was about to marry, in summary, I was looking for someone to marry. And I was praying. If in my ministry there has been any issue of virgin, I have members, at least from different corners of the world, I have members in Abuja here. People are listening to us. Everything in my ministry is free. If you go to my ministry, you discover I may not be as high as they're placing me before people. I approached Abigail for marriage. She accepted. The uncle, which is the husband to the, my mother-in-law, they all accepted. Suddenly, after I bought her phone, because she was using a phone, one Nokia phone, the face is blind, the button, they use rubber band to hold it. And then she used to hawk uh, soya milk. So I approached her, I said, can I get you a phone? The auntie first, he says, I went and bought uh, taking a Y6 then to give to my wife to be. As I brought the phone to her, she went to school. And let me retreat back. My wife was 19 years old when I met her. I married her at the age of 19. She was born 97. I married her 2016. Wait. The parent is here. Pastor. Yes, sir. The parents of the girl. Yeah. Thought say she be 17. No, they will talk. Wait now. now. Here. Mm. And wait now. The mother you, is here. No worry. You will meet her where she don't form teeth for mouth. They talk, say, she be 20, Abby? She was 19. 19. Yes. And then talk, say, now 17. Yes. Okay, continue your talk. So, why I want to lay this foundation, I will summarize, is that that day, as I came, I didn't meet her. The auntie looked at the phone. He said, is it her dad that will use this phone? She went in, why six? She went inside her room and brought one phone and told me that this is the one she's using. Is it Abigail that will use this phone? I said, I don't understand these people. I have to wait for her. I went and bought line, registered it in her name and waited for her. When she returned, I handed over the phone to her. To my surprise, the following day, she told me that her auntie is dragging the phone with her. I said, oh, for what reason? Two of you can use the phone if it's just because it's an Android phone. From there, suddenly, they said, The parent of my wife, which is my mother-in-law here, and my father-in-law, that they say no, that a pastor cannot marry their daughter. That no way on earth will it happen. I try to persuade them. I am not that kind of person you think. 
Marriage is not all about religion. They say no. And not married their daughter. I put a, a call across to my father in law. Without knowing me, who I am, he said, No, he doesn't want to talk with me. He was, he was even my mother in law that I spoke with. He said, Is that you? I said, Okay, no problem. Then I be girl called me. few days later that the parent is saying no to the marriage that I can go ahead look for another person I okay there's no problem I ordinary presence, I decided to forge ahead. I looked to another girl from my village, Ijoma by name. After a year interval, of the family, I was about getting married. So, Mama, I was driving at a one certain afternoon. My phone rang. I said, who is talking? He said, she is prophetess Jennifer from Maraba. Do I know who is Adora? I said, Adora, I know plenty of Adora. I don't know. He said, the one you went to marry and the family rejected you. I said, oh, I remember. He said, God says she should tell me that Abigail is my wife. And if I don't marry Abigail, no one can marry Abigail. I said, Madam, I'm a prophet. You say you're a prophetess. I'm already getting ready. I'm already at the door of marriage with another lady. Why are you saying this? He said she wants to see me. I decided to go to a place in Maraba at Aso with Pastor Tochu. When we went there, she started narrating the story to me that it was this America. Because this matter we're talking about, the family I married from has never troubled me. It's my mother-in-law and her brothers and sisters. My father-in-law and her brothers and sisters has never given me any issue in my marriage with Abigail. So he said he, they called her for family liberation, Emeka and Chijoke, those living in Abuja here. That it was when she went to their place that it was revealed to her that somebody came and they rejected the man. I said, Tom, I don't know what to do. The prayer I prayed, I was convinced that Abigail was my wife. But I don't want war. I'm in a very, I'm in war front already. My attention now is centered on my marriage because I know that is where Satan is waiting for me. The woman said, no, that I should cancel Ijoma's marriage. And Amechi, which is the husband to a younger sister, Called me immediately. I was even with Prophet Jennifer. Say, Prophet, we don't want the wrath of God. Oh. Abigail is your wife. Don't marry another person. Oh. Each one, the man was threatening me. I said, what, the, what is the problem? I'm confused. Okay, wait for me. I'm coming. If I leave Jennifer's place, I'm coming to your place. Which is America's place as well. I went to their place. They brought a paper to me. That this is what God says. 
that uh, Abigail was writing, and all of them, they were dreaming that they are sorry that I have to come and marry their daughter. Who told you so? The younger sister to my mother-in-law and the husband. The one way... The, she was living with... The one way... You see, I know one punch... Uh, you see, that time, where you buy that phone, give... Yes, yes, this, the same woman. It just like house girl or house help or person where they live with people now that was how it is. make you go buy iphone 13 pro max give yes i mean any girl Young young girls, we they ready to sleep with four men at the same time for iPhone now. So, you see, I like the way you they narrate your story one by one. But I want to make you know, say, anyway, make you finish, finish first. Ogasa, please now, please. So my. Or not present. Please go ahead, sir. As the, I returned back to the place, they were convincing me. I said, what of my parents-in-law to be? I don't know them yet. They don't know me. And they were the one you people said disagree with this marriage. What is their position now? They told me that they have all accepted the marriage. That I should come. I said, no, I will not come like that, but let me put a call to my father-in-law. I called him. He said, there is no problem. That is all about God. I now give my wife my ATM. Give her some transport. Say, go back to your village. I get me. According to my father-in-law, the daughter should come so that I should come to her, his house so that he can see me. So the, my wife traveled. As she traveled, they are the one, my mother-in-law is here. They called me now that they want to see me. But there is an issue. I said, what is this? She said, the Reverend Father said that their daughter cannot marry a pastor. That if their daughter marries a pastor, he would deny them, he would stop them from taking Holy Communion and celebration of Mass in I said, okay, let us if this is the will of God, I'm not forcing myself into marriage because it's a lifetime journey. I'm a product of polygamous home and I don't want it in my life. My father-in-law said, okay, we should pray. I went into prayer. After one week, he called me, said, Sam, I said, Sir, you can come to my house now. The God has proven that you are my daughter's husband. That they have transferred the parish the all the parish priests out of Obolo. That you should come now. I said, okay, Daddy, I'm coming. I called my brother. I said, okay, let us go to my father-in-law's place. We went. I met my mother-in-law, my father-in-law. When my mother-in-law saw me, he said, the way I was hearing about you and I thought you are just one old man like that. I don't know you were a young man. She be you've been not see him before. That's that's what she told me for the first time we met. Mm -hmm. That she never knew is yeah, I'm like this. The same thing with my father in law. Said they've accepted me that I will marry their daughter, that even one woman of God has convinced them that I am their in law to be. I gave them small thing that I, as I have. I get me previously before that time. My ATM, my wife will call me down. My mother-in-law say, there is nothing. Today we don't say, that ATM I gave you, the small money inside is for your use. If your mother say you should collect, you are be, about to becoming one home. 
use it. And that was what was happening. I was getting so alert. Eventually, when the marriage can't happen, uh, true, say they give you three conditions. Yes. The Which? condition they gave me, because the man at my back, I get to me, is my mother in law's brother. They, my direct in laws told me that, one, this marriage, they said, I didn't do traditional marriage. It was traditional marriage. The ego of my village, one of the cabinet was there. My uncle was a counselor, he was there. This is the eldest in my family. My father is late. He's the, our father now. He was there. One uh, is a deputy director now in development control. That's Zach a Fulani man, drove me from here to village of my wife. Plenty of people follow me. There are canopies in the village. I send them money because I was avoiding buying alcohol. They said they must buy. So I send them money. I say, my hand no the inside. This Emeka drank to the level that he entered my car. He almost followed us to the hotel room. Now my mother-in-law tell her, I say, what kind of shame is this? Call, don't follow these people. That day, there are canopies from morning to night. The marriage issue was taking place. Marriage. Traditional marriage. Una, yeah? You say? Who did traditional marriage? Um, okay. It's okay. I get me. We will can call, we will make calls. Uh, I get him. Uh, Ogasa, when I get pictures of the traditional marriage. Yes, there are. Where are, where are the pictures? The, the pictures. And video. The pictures were in the phone. I get him. That my brother so, had. I get him. man no come for an event. He didn't. And now only one person record the event. There are others. This thing. Now only one person record the event. There are others. This thing is 2016. Can you talk to the mic, please? This thing is 2016. You can call some people. Yes. If your phone lost. Yes. Other people. There is no way in an event. Now only one person will get phone to record. Other people will get the same content. It's oh. just like uh, these uh, Apple people will carry complaint come against a um, uh, present FCT minister. Say he, he make empty promises to them. The next thing we Ask them, be say, may them go bring me the video of the day where FCT minister come visit them, where he make the empty promise, where he never fit fulfill up to now, even though we don't they make progress in the right direction. You understand? As you they come to prove this in matter, mm. you for now just phone call. What's up the uh, the uh, the pictures to me? I be the videos. Anyway, continue, sir. My ordinary president, what you're saying is right. If not because thieves, five armed robbers, invaded my house, they came to my house. Five armed five, robbers. Five men. Mm. Oh. Where is Prophet? In my house. Where am I? And my wife and my Around children. Around which time? Around it. You know, my neighbors are flannies. That is after two to three in the morning. Mm. I get to me. My neighbors were aware. They stole things from my house. Mm. But I was at the sit out. The door they couldn't open. They were telling my wife and my house help that nothing will happen to them. I get me. They should be for the Flanese scheme. So to, finally. To now, so they, they stole the phone. But what I want to say is that. Concerning the traditional marriage that are here as witness. My father-in-law is alive. Emeka is at my back. What I want to lay foundation for is that. Right. Are you, I don't know. I, I handle my. Like, uh, I, Yeah. You see, sir. Okay. Why you see me? They worry now because time. No, them they talk. If they declare on air. Okay. You okay. they talk. Some of the things where you they talk, people know. know they hear. Okay. Okay. Now opportunity. I give you to. For you to talk your own side of the story. 
people don't hear their own. Yes. Now, as you they talk your own now, people go strike a balance in between waiting them talk and waiting with they talk. But okay. I don't go caution you about the microphone again. Continue. So the the I believe if there are no cameras, physical human beings are the evidence of my marriage with their daughter. When we return back to Abuja after my marriage, though they gave me condition that I must do wedding in Catholic, I did not say no. I get in it. They give you how many conditions? I must do wedding in Catholic. How many conditions they give you? The ones I can remember is two. Okay, which one? The which second one? one is that I must train my wife in the university. Thank you. Thank you. So continue. I saw okay, there's no problem. That one is to my profit. I'm a graduate. So when we return back to my house as husband and wife, I've married my wife. I get in it. Yes. After some time, she conceived. When she conceived, I informed my mother in law that my wife is already pregnant and before the conception the wedding supposed to be my profit i told my wife that i will not spend one naira and you will gain a lot if i do this wedding it's okay we're getting ready one night she woke me up that she had a dream who my wife where we are doing this thing and she slumped i say how do you slump she slumped and fell down in the dream i say this is not possible if it is so, I believe we can pray it out. But she will wait there with prophet. Prophet for don't see him. Uh, it is not like that. Okay, so continue. He, prophet is not God. Mm. We are messengers of God. Mm. I get in it. Okay. If God doesn't talk to me, I, ha I have no word for anyone. Okay. So I said, okay, let us pray about it. As we continue to pray, I involved my father-in-law. I said, this is what my wife is saying, you know. In summary, my wife gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. I called my mother-in-law that my wife has given birth, including my father-in-law, but it was a tough journey. She gave birth in Dara Clinic. And when she gave birth, she passed away. My son could not cry. So by, I don't know, my attention was divided. They took my son to Joy uh, Land Children's Hospital that is here in uh, Lokogoma. My wife was in that clinic under medication. So my attention was divided. I would drive, go, I said, okay, let me concentrate on my wife. My brother should go there to take care of my son. Eventually, my son died. I said, okay, I will not tell my wife. I get in it. I told my mother-in-law, I said, my wife has given birth and my son is late and I don't want her to know. My mother-in-law asked me, what about her daughter? Is she alive? I said, she's alive. He said, she not die. I said, she not die. My wife is alive. And I want you to come because this is first Bele. Now you be the mother. We go take care of your daughter. If my mother-in-law will come, that will move on tomorrow. It is me and few of my such members, especially me that was pressing my wife's uh, water. The first side. And after that, I, I wanted to know why, why this, this why, America was in Abuja. Why you and your church members? You know get relations. My mother is in the village. Uh -huh. I get in it. So I was only living with my wife and my younger brother. And uh, I cannot allow him to do so. Uh, that, that was the reason. So you have, you have two minutes to round up. Okay, in summary... Since you said two minutes, because I wanted to summarize earlier. Do you know how many minutes I've given you so far? Okay. In summary, my mother-in-law, the second born, she came to Omogo. When she came to Omogo, she started directing me on how to run my ministry. I, my, I called and said, this call is not marriage. I only do what God wants me to do. You cannot tell me to honor Virgin Mary or do this one or do that. Yeah, he is not, I am not a religious person. She continued. From there we had issues. 
and she left. When she left, my second daughter, my mother was already living with us before the birth of my second daughter. When she gave birth, because she has been troubling from village, the same thing with Emeka. And I call her, I say, my mother-in-law, I beg, make you say to Lord this matter, because you don't do much. My mother is in my house. I want you to come to in-law so that we can unite and say to this once and for all. She said she's not coming for Mugo, that she will not come to my house. That I didn't marry her daughter. From there, he picked quarrel with my mother. My mother said, okay, we have to go back to the village and settle this issue. When we return back to the village to settle this matter, I have to travel with my wife. That's why they say I abandoned the baby. I told my father-in-law, this baby is too small to embark on a far journey. He said, all they need is that we should come. Now the man told me, I said, okay, we are coming. I decided to take my daughter to one of my sisters. Keep her out. In the following day, we are coming back. After three weeks to four weeks that she gave birth. We traveled to the village for peace. Immediately we got my father-in-law, he's a calm man, he's a peaceful man. He said, this thing, let us settle this. This, my mother-in-law just come, he was calling people that they should come, less, I went with one four six and one Corolla. They should less my tires. They started beating people I came with. Lock me and my mother inside the parlor. My father-in-law want to talk, say, this is my house. They say, shut up in my presence. Which state? So in Obolafo, Enugu State. Which village? Obolafo. Okay. So police, they, when they are beating this one, and Chinedu, they run to police station and call police. It takes six armed policemen to rescue me from my in-law's house. And they denied my wife, they refused her following me back to my place. So I called and said, leave my wife. I'm going down to my village if I'm coming back. The DPO told me I should never they turn back to that house. That these people will kill me. I saw okay, sir. I agreed. From there we left. So when I was coming back from my village, I called my wife. I said, I am in your junction there with my mother and the Amara that I brought for you to be helping you at home as I help. It's okay. But her parents are blocking her way that she will not leave the house. So I left. After I left, these people that refuse to release my wife to follow me, I call my father-in-law. This thing you are doing is evil, but I will come back for my wife. When I left, the same day, they put my wife inside bus. My wife returned back to my house mad. And I called my father-in-law. She was talking of no sir, off point. Say she don't know what is happening to her. How she knelt down. He was talking. I said, this thing is not an issue. I called my father-in-law. I said, something is wrong. Don't tell anybody in the village. You don't know your enemy. Come, let's pray for my wife. My father-in-law was asking me the stages of the sickness. Is she shouting now? One week ago, is she shouting now? The third week, this Emeka was here. I took my wife to Carol General Hospital. Emeka? Yes, now. My calls were going all, all, all around. Did you inform Emeka? Yes. Good. She is here. So none of them came until after a week to two weeks. The nurse faced in one night with my mother. The, my mother-in-law was already in the, in the house of America. They come say we should go to General, uh, Carol General Hospital. Before then, we have been to National Hospital for one week. From National Hospital, we return to, there is one hospital in Alco. Um, uh, uh, Reverend Sisters have it. So from there to FMC. And my wife spent five months in FMC, no improvement. I was paying bill. All these things, I, I, one medical doctor last asked me that this thing is a prayer issue. That he has not seen such a matter. A medical, a doctor. medical doctor. The same, the same advice I got from a reverend sister, a nurse from National Hospital. Say my wife was called, addressing everybody by their names. That this thing is under, am I not a pastor? I said, I am, and I'm praying. He said, we should go for prayer more. I said, okay, no problem. That is when I wanted to sign a uh, summer. I, they call it summer. To release my wife against medical report. When my wife was dying, I was already spending millions. A maker called me and begged me for house rent. I said, My wife is dying. You are asking me for house rent in the hospital. Before, after that, I said, I don't have money. The following day, they arrested me with police. 
with Naptib. They carry me and my children to Naptib office. The Naptib woman was there. After they narrate everything, the, the, the allegation is that I kidnapped my wife. I didn't marry her. My father-in-law said in Naptib office that I married his daughter. The Naptib woman was called. Nigeria MBA representatives and the police, they were, they were not sought peace what for us. What brought Nigeria MBA representative? At, now you ask them. They're in your office. Now um, then bring them. Finally. So, finally, I told them that these people are sucking my money. What you will help me, I will pay all this bill. But tell these people that at the end, we'll divide this money into three. I will bring two, they will bring one. That if you tell them like that, they will agree, let us go the following day. They told them like that. The following day, I cut them, go and brought one pastor that prayed and said this thing is in FMC. After they arrested me, we don't come back for peace. The following day, that we should go home for prayers. Now, my mother in law bring After them. After they told them to, well, to share the. Uh, yes, into then the, we return back to my house. I was feeding them, even as they were in the hospital. I make the year, the family, that me, they cook. They bring for my father in law, my wife, and my mother in law. Yes. To the hospital. Thank you. So when we return to my house, the same people after a few days say they have to go to uh, uh, Enugu for treatment. I said, anywhere my wife will be okay. Let us go. And that is how they traveled to Enugu. Thank and you. why I didn't go, they're saying I was going to go, is that they traveled with my younger brother. My younger brother is the one taking care of my wife. This is my mother in law will be pushing my wife up and I'll be shedding tears. This is my mother-in-law has slapped my wife in my presence in the hospital. The day my wife stopped talking for almost a year is because she, she tell me, Daddy, I say, he say they want to collect my star. I say, nobody will collect your star. The mother collect her say, star? Yes. The mother tell her, I say, who want to collect your star? You know, she was no, she was sick. He said, you are the one. And he slapped the mother. In presence of nurses, and the pastor they brought. Uh, and that was the last day she talked uh, for almost a year. Thank you. After she recovered, she was fighting them to return back to my house. They said no, that she should not return to her babies. She should go and marry. Ordinary Ahmed, I decided if that is the case, so be it. Let me look for my life and remain like that not to marry. Because Abigail remember my wife. If she can marry, no problem. This woman let her call another woman of God for this, this time again, that they were asking, they were begging them that they should release my wife to return back to my house. I said, I don't have any problem. But for me to come to your house like this, after all you have done to me, I will not come. Mm -hmm. They released my wife to come back to my house. When my wife come back to my house this time around, another issue, problems. This, my mother-in-law now that is bringing this case is that she left Enugu State, left my father-in-law that said he is not working, that he has arthritis, and entered the motor to a house. He didn't call me on phone, and I was the one that told you that, get ready for Mogo. He didn't call the daughter, and he spoke with the daughter the previous day. And my father-in-law called me that I have sent my wife to your house for Omogo. Because what she says in her family is final. What she says in where I, my marriage, which is my, my in-law's place, is final. And what she says to me, I refuse it to be final. That is our issue. And that's why I say, you won't come to my house like that. And that's why she reports me here now. So that is my case. Can I talk now? Yes, sir. Me kuna give a prophet water, make you drink. When I go open and near, I make you hear the sound. Carry my own water. We make you inspect and first, then we we'll go hope open and near, check and where where. No 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 no, I'm serious. Now so you see say uh, so uh, open and near microphone make you make a keke. I've opened now. Hi, can me. Thank you, sir. It's okay, sir. He made, he made noise. <laughs> so, drink water. Thank you for giving me water. You see, even though... Okay, let me apologize to the management as well as the regu our regulators for overshooting our time. Why I know we won't stop on that because they make valid points about in own side of the story. But the truth is, this matter has root. First of all, the family is divided. From what 
uh, Mr. Sam talk here. The mother-in-law is on one side, the father-in-law is on another side. The daughter is equally on another side. Um, why it will be difficult for me to resolve this matter is because The mother-in-law is saying there was no, and the uncle are saying there was no proper marriage. And the daughter from behind said there was traditional marriage. Even though she didn't say it on the microphone. Please, ma, give her the microphone. Give your daughter the microphone. Okay. My dear, good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Take, it, clo okay. take it closer to your mouth, okay. ma. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Brackett family. Good morning, ma. What him be your name, ma? Okay, I'm Mrs. Abigail Samson Chimuba. Um, how old were you when he married you? I was 19 years old, sir. 19 years old. Yes, sir. Okay. And, um... Do you have anything to tell us? Yes, sir. Um, first of all... Go and hold the mic for her, please. Okay. First of all, where I want to speak from was how I met... From, well, is from where and when and how... And is from when I met my husband and all that, that have transpired so far in this marriage. First of all, I was living with my auntie at Jaitu. Then I was still in secondary school. So one day they came back, they went for a program at a Solution Theater and Deliverance Ministry. They came back, they were telling me everything that happened there, the testimonies people were giving there and all that. So I now told them that, ah, that, I, would, that I would love to follow them the next, day they are, the next time they are going for the program. So that was how I started following them for the program in my husband's church. So when I, the first day I went there, I, in my, in my, in my spirit, I accepted the place. I said that, oh, the each time they are coming for the program, I must follow them for, to the place. So I continued going, we continued going there together with my auntie and the husband. So along the line, my husband saw me and showed interest that he wanted to, that he wants to marry me. He didn't announce uh, for virgins to come out. He did not announce for virgins to come out in okay. any way, sir. Okay. So he showed interest that he want that he wants to marry me. So I told him that I, we need, I need to pray about it. That I don't want to make mistakes in life. Mistake in life. I know that marriage is a is a lifetime journey. What year were you born? I was born December, seventeen ninety seven. Hmm. Nineteen ninety seven. Seventeen December nineteen ninety seven. How yes, old sir. are you today? I'm I'm twenty I'm I'll be twenty five by seven by seventeenth of this month. You will be twenty five. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so continue. So when I, after my husband declared, he showed his interest in me that he wanted to marry me, I told him that we should pray about it. So I prayed. On my own, I got revelation that convinced me that, yes, he, he is my husband. So I told him that this is what uh, the revelation I got and all that. He, he also prayed. So my uncles too, my, my auntie and the husband, they were, um, I told them that this is this. So already, already my husband has, has already told the man, that told my auntie and the husband that he's interested in me, that he wants to marry me and all that. So they, on their own, they agreed. But they said that everything is on her dad's head. If she will, they don't know if she will agree and all that. So after we, after, um, uh, I, after, after, sorry. Go ahead. You don't want to talk again? I will talk, sir. Well, um, for it not to look as if I'm forcing you to talk. Um, so, sorry, sir. I... It's not that you are forcing me to talk, but it's just that the pain that this my mother and this my uncle that is sitting in have caused me. 
It's just, it's just, it's just what is making me to be, to, 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 be, to be angry, and I don't even look at you. They are stressing me, stressing my baby. Few weeks I gave birth. Ever since this man, they have, ne- they, they, they have not allowed peace in my home. Do you, do, know, uh, do you know how many stress you have given your mother when you are like this? I gave her no stress because I, I, the way she's, she's behaving, she don't, she's not even behave like a mother to me. She, uh, my dear. My dear. Uh, consultant Ike, collect mic from Pastor. Ordinary President. Consultant Ike. Ordinary President. I will give you an opportunity, you and Elder. Make you handle this matter. But the truth is, Madam, let me tell you the simple truth. You have lost your, your daughter. Just go and face other things. You are, you've been disconnected from your daughter. Um, you understand, Ogaranya? It's just a simple truth. There is no point deceiving anybody. But I just hope she won't regret it much later in her life. Wait. Sorry. Yes, Kodotan Ike, um, uh, Barrister Ogo, please. My other president, well done. I want to sincerely thank you for this time that you have given them to speak. I want to ask her, thank God she's here. Is your husband beating you? Has, she, has he beat you before? And the man of God is equally here. Are you beating your wife? He has, he has never. Hi, oh God, why are you taking us back? Oh, what God. do you expect to hear? Okay. What do you expect to me. hear? We just want to know that he tomorrow she will not me. cry and say. Cry to who? Oh. No, cry to who, Ogo? Oh Please, Ogo, please. Huh? When I said this woman, has already been disconnected from her daughter. I know where they talk. It is not the rhetorics. It is the body language. It is the body language. Um, we cannot force the daughter to love her mother. Um, so, if um, a daughter can be this bold to say her mother and and her uncle. I can understand that of the uncle because if he be say the uncle they vex because he beg for house rent they no give him nine make. But what about the mother, your biological mother, the woman that gave birth to you? And the reason why they sent you to that your auntie is because of poverty. If they, if if only they they could take care of you, they wouldn't have sent you to that place. And the reason why they sent you to that place is because they want a better life for you. Every mother will want to stay with her own daughter, with her child, just like you have connection to your child now that you're complaining. They will grow one day. Madam, give her microphone. Madam, sir, I will tell you one truth here. Yes, sir. Your husband is not on your the same side with you on this matter. He's not on the same side unless you have something else to tell us. You and your husband now the same matter when they take the talk on this matter. I be he he day one side, you day one side. Na the same mouth. Okay. But uh, at times. Just give me straight answer. Okay, na the same mouth, sir. We go call your uh, husband uh, now. Yes, sir. Let us give. Uh, give us uh, the husband's phone number. Okay, Uncle. sir. Uncle. The same mouth. That yes, is this, sir. Uh, on the yes, same sir. side. Uh, yes, on sir. The same. the same side. Collect microphone. Talk to me. Uh, ordinary person, if you listen to her, he said the same mouth. Madam, C- call no disgrace him, call yourself him. here. Yes, sir. Call him. Okay. Call him. Uh, uncle, collect microphone. Collect microphone, uncle. 
Okay. Give him microphone now. Okay. Okay. Now you be okay, uncle. Sir. I don't know okay, your sir. name. What him be your name? Uh, my name is Emeka, sir. Okay, uncle Emeka. Sir, sir. So it's just because you beg this name? man for house rent, now you <laughs> make you declare war against Amabi. <laughs> sir. No, uncle be, Ranya. Use yeah. your language. Talk to yeah. our daddy. Ask yeah. him. Um, okay, okay. You use English, but, but introduce yourself in Nibo language first. Hello. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh huh. Uh, I am one of consultant Ike. I'm not bugging the program break at the family Abuja. Yeah. Uh huh. I am not one again now. Maka Oku Banyaru Adagimwa and Adia, Bo Prophet uh, Sam. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um. Obocha ha okay ha me kedi the year ha me traditional marriage ha. Two thousand and sixteen. Two thousand and sixteen. Ha me traditional marriage. I want him to traditional marriage. Huh? Huh? I want him to traditional marriage. Damn. Okay, do we go this year? Do we? Oh, do we go this year? Do we go? Do we go? In Atari Diego. I that I am not So, can you hear the channel? Me go traditional marriage. Oh, do be ego ni se na to ego se no me bro. Do be ego ni se. Mhm. Ah, if o mo ko ni mo mo Okay. Uh, Come, uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Call your name, make you introduce yourself. Uh, Daddy, uh, introduce yourself, your name, and where you 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 you, you, okay. you, you follow us, they talk now. Yes, my name be Mr. Orna Kritova. Okay. Give that number, 8 Old Oba Road. Mm. Opposite Old High, High Court, Obolapo, in the local government, in Enugu State, Nigeria. Tell us what you know about your daughter marriage to Prophet Sam. Okay, sir. President Ordinary, sir. Mm. My prayer for you as I have earlier said for the entire member of your family to the Almighty God is that no evil mind and eyes shall see any of you in Jesus' name. Amen. God don't answer them. Tell us the story. The whole world they listen to you now. What you say, please, sir. I say, hey, tell us the story. What did you know about your daughter' marriage to Pastor Sam, okay. to Professor? Okay, it's all right. Um, sir, allow me to draw you back to twenty fourth of December, year twenty twenty. Go ahead. When you advise, when you advise us, 
Could you advise or do for large number of people that needed your attention to return to our respective home so we can celebrate Christmas and New Year with our people, after mm. which we then can come back? I remember. I couldn't come, I, I, okay, I couldn't come back then because because of success of certain things. What prompted me then to come come to Abuja was because of issues concerning my daughter's husband, who, against our mutual agreement, that he must wed my daughter in the Catholic Church, as well as perform the traditional, the traditional fine carrying on her head. Suddenly, with impunity, said he was not going to abide by our agreed term, say that my daughter would die if he wears her or performs her traditional fine carrying. This is a pastor and prophet saying this, that as every married couple I knew in his church are all wedded, either in the church or in the court of law. Sir, I hereby humbly crave indulgence to permit me to ask the following questions concerning somebody who claims to be a good son-in-law and the pastor prophet at that. Is it proper that a person marrying somebody's daughter should refuse to let his father, mother, brother, sisters-in-laws, as well as his so-called wife, know his real down against our mutual agreement that he should do so. If it is proper that a same a same minded individual should wish are you hearing me, sir? Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Calm down, sir. Calm I, I can understand you are angry, but please calm down, sir. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. If it is proper that a same minded individual should wish a woman carrying his baby dead after she had put to bed, and after that would collect his children and look for another woman to marry. This is a proper statement. It is left for the world to answer. Should a man wish his wife dead after that his job is to carry his children and run away okay. and marry another woman? Daddy. Yeah? How and if a wife carry... Uh, I, how many age are that be when uh, this man show interest say you want marry her? Did you say how many? How old she be when this man shows interest say you want marry her? He was about eighteen years old. Okay, eighteen years old. That is. He was about that. Yes, and then um, about eighteen years. Above 18 years, I'll be below 18 years. I'll say it was about that year. Like 18 years plus, I'll be 17 years plus, almost 18. That's almost 18, sir. Sir, please. You don't know. Hello, sir. Because with that, it was from that 17 to 18. Okay, thank you. Now, um, sir. Sir. You talk say in talk say well, after when I agree with him he agree, but uh, he agreed. Well, uh, yes, uh, uh, everybody uh, wants to be agreed. Okay, then later after he don't give your daughter Belle, he can't talk say he no agree again. Now so after I don't give him Belle, he no talk say so we go go in house go see go in house. Wait now, but I. Uh, uh, waiting, he agreed that time. Now, waiting and waiting and waiting be the conditions we will not give her. The condition we will give at that time is say, before ever, when we come to, our, to my house, the condition we will give her is say, you must marry and wed my daughter in the Catholic Church. One. You must. Perform her traditional marriage. As you don't keep money, you must perform her traditional marriage of wine carrying. Two. 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 Good. Then, when she goes carrying the, uh, the uh, calabash, as her tradition is, after eight days, she must come back home at least to prepare mm. and get ready for the, for the wine carrying. Mm. 
Then after that, later, we waited for the for her to return. Mm. Never no, did. Now the I conditions know. where you give Nai, I want here first. Okay, these are the conditions where we give. See, we must marry our daughter in the church. Okay. We must marry our daughter in the church. We must carry the we will perform the uh, wine carrying uh, tradition. Okay. Una no, una no tell her about uh, tell them about uh, sponsoring her in school when she don't become a mother. We tell her all these things. She mm. will, will, he agreed. Okay. Uh, okay. If the foreign foreign in school is that, uh, that possible, let him let him find her something doing. Okay. Yes, because I don't mind his idol was shop. Okay. So after now before she born, uh, now before she carry belly, be a uh, contact say. If in the don't see vision, say if you do this, uh, this uh, traditional marriage, say she go die. I be now after she don't carry belly. Now, when you talk, so I be after she don't born. He never, he never, he never reach to carry, never carry any belly at all. Now, he talk, now, he talk, now, he talk, say if you do, I'm say she go die. And uh, I'm talking so if you should come do uh, if you come to undo that my, my traditional marriage, say uh, my daughter will die. Okay. And that time my daughter never carry belly. Okay. Okay. Uh, you talk you get one question where you ask. You say uh -huh. whether they okay make your make son in law do no allow father in law, mother in law and relations to know in real village. Yes, I talk, I talk to so because we agree, so we go to the village like this. So we go to because if you marry somebody's daughter, the father, the mother, uh, you are, you, the siblings go go, they go to the place where so you are, they go. So we we'll never go to your village to Sabi. We we'll never go there up to now, where will they talk? You know what us make we go. Okay. Uh, Daddy? Sir? I be no one involved um, government for this matter. But we waiting I hear from you now, we go involve government. Even okay. though the uh, intox say uh, NAPTI been don't enter the matter, uh, police don't enter the matter, them two talk say they carry the matter, go National Human Rights Commission. We go revisit all these three agencies. We are re re re-involving NAPTIP, we are re-involving the police. We are re-involving the National Human Rights Commission this time around. We are involved and we are watching brief to ensure that the right thing is done in this case. Thank you, sir. Are you in reference could be sent to Federal Medical Centers and ask, uh, ask questions. Are you, are you comfortable with, with, uh, with, uh, with my position, sir? Very, very comfortable, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, ordinary president. <coughs> you can end the course. Mm -hmm. I don't end them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, we are going to resolve this issue, but not absolutely. As for winning the daughter back to her parents might be impossible unless she comes back to her senses on her own by herself. And it, give her the microphone. Oh, I said I'm on my right senses, sir. You are right? Yes, sir. Okay. The woman in front of you, who is she to you? She is my mother. When was the last time you called her on phone? We spoke the day, the night before she came to Abuja. Who this called one, this who? One that she came. Who called who? She was the one that called me Odo, but we have been talking. We do, we do. I do put a call across to her to know how she is faring, how others are faring. Mm, my dear. What did you say is your name again? I said my name is Abigail, Mrs. Abigail Samson Chimuba. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Uh, Consort and Ike. Honorary President, maybe you, okay. Barrister Ogo, and um, Elder Daddy Scarfold. Yes, Honorary President. And the Elder Lambert mm. Mbara. Mm. Why I put on all of them? Mm. The only outsider where I go put na coded widow as mm. a mother. Mm. As soon as the reason as men, mm. she go the reason as a woman. Madam Happiness. On the, um, okay, you... by mm. Mommy G O two go join. Mm. Um when I go them go uh, the got them go reason on the side of the daughter, mm. reason on the side of the mother. Mm. But my own be say no right thinking child will want to fight the mother. Mm. No matter what it is, mm. no matter the situation. Mm. But she says she is normal. She is in her right senses. So please, I am handing over this matter to you. Okay. I'm going to involve NAPTIP this time around, and I'm going to involve the Nigerian police I'm going to involve um, the National Human Rights Commission as well as mm. as well as International Federation of Women Lawyers mm. for them to come into this matter. And then these are our partners, RAPA. Mm -hmm. Let them come in and look at it from a different angle. Mm. N away from the way from the angle I am looking at the whole thing, because I want to be fair to all of them. Mm. If you permit me, Ordinary yes, President, I will say something, not primarily that it will be the resolution for this issue, but maybe for other people to also learn. In all the narrations, particularly from the one where the father narrates now, I just found one underlying cause will be where the root of this issue they na religion. They are all Christians. They are Christians. So now interdenominational rivalry. Not be him. Not yeah. be him. I disagree I, with you. That no, you know why? You know, be Christian. Uh, uh, even if I know be Christian, you never uh, try marry. They tell you say, unless you wed, you wait for here, Ogaranya. and you agree later. You no call agree. Ogaranya. Ogaranya. Yes, sir. Ogaranya. Yes, sir. Ogaranya. Yes, sir. Person will come your house. Mm. You be Olumba Olumba. Mm. Him be Catholic. Mm. He won't marry your daughter. Mm. You tell and say, now nah, Olumba Olumba marriage then go do. Mm. He agree. Mm. And they let her know. later, come to say, you know, go do. Now be the thing. No. No being be. What thing happened here now? Deceit mm. and lack of honor to what the man agreed earlier. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Mm. It is not it, as at that time. Mm. We love the shark, the girl. Mm. We love the shark, our prophet. Mm. When the father said, "When I go do wedding for church, for Catholic church," he say, "Sir, with due respect, I no go do. Mm. I'm a Pentecostal." Mm. It's simple. You don't just accept and deceive the parents. Mm. We are Africans. Mm. My human right, no rich, make I see daughter disrespect her mother, make I leave her. Mm. No, 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 no. My human right, no be artificial human right, no be American human right. Mm. This is the natural human right mm. where we respect tradition, mm. where we respect morals, where we respect values in our society. Mm. Ogaranya. Ordinary president. You raise a vital point, mm. but inside that your point, mm. the main foundation for this matter. Mm. Yes, I, you know Catholics. Mm. You know, uh, hey, a, a Catholic and Equa. Sorry, mm. um, mm. now positive example I won't give. Mm. Mama here, mm. Mama will just leave mm. at eighty six. Mm. If you try to say anything. Mm. Slightly negative about the Catholic. 
you are on a fit fight. I don't know whether you mm. understand. Mm. Me, where they hear you to say, a Christian, I be, I for be Catholic. Mm. The the point you raise about you understand honor and deceit yes. is very valid because uh, because one yes uh, I can say it is wrong for me to insist that who wants to marry simple. my uh, daughter must wed here simple. but that person should not tell me yes and return back to do a different thing simple that's the point you raised and I agree with you because once that happens you will see faith there is loss of faith trust is broken. Now, um, Ogaranya. Yes, sir. When, uh, are they come? Uh, no, he has the right. He has the right. Ogaranya. Yes, sir. For us not to overdrag this matter. Yes, sir. Because we don't over, we don't, we don't already overdrag them. Mm. Make we not overdrag and pass like this. Mm. You. Elder Lambert Okpara. Yes, sir. Daddy Scaffold. Mm. Mommy, Mommy Gio. Mm. Coded, Coded. Uh, Widow. Mm. Junior. Okay. And Barrister Ogo. Okay. Ogo, you are going to look at... We, you are going to look at this whole thing yes, as sir. a member of the committee from legal perspective. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Possibly, you can you can strike a balance be, between looking at it from a legal perspective and jurisprudential perspective. Okay, Swakwa. <laughs> Supo. <laughs> so, that is your role in this committee. Yes, sir. Uh, the two elders go use their God-given elderly wisdom. Mm. Three, three elders. Yes. Elders. To know, they don't see, they don't see many marriages. Oh, the three elders. Yes, ordinary president. Thank you. The four elders. They get even waiting at the thing, ordinary president. In the usual way and things you do, it is possible that by the time we sit with them, finish, they will return back here, settled, and the Amen. issue resolved Amen. and happy. Amen. Amen. The pastor, the family, the mother, the daughter. Everybody mm -hmm. become happy. Okay. You know it has happened many times yes. when you enter. Maybe we like hear this. from His Excellency Ambassador Chukudi, the Brekete Family Ambassador in the United Arab Emirates Headquarters, Dubai. Uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Chukudi, good morning. Ordinary, good morning, sir. How are you, sir? I did, sir. I want to say my God bless you. Uh, uh, thank you so much for helping us to learn every day. And thank you for using this platform to educate Nigerians and people around the world. Mm. Uh, may God continue to strengthen you and protect you for us in Amen. Jesus' name. Mm. Uh, honestly, sir, I'm really worried for this young girl. I'm really worried for this young girl. People that their mother is still alive do not know the value of her mother. Those that their mother, they have, uh, they have passed, I cry and say they wish their mother was still alive. There is nothing in this world you can use to compare the love of a mother. That mother carried you in her wounds for nine months. She went through pain. She suffered. God, with the help of God, she gave birth to you. She nurtured you. To the time this man came into your life, that bond, you can't joke with it. So whatever you do in life, don't joke with the love of your mother. Every single tear that come out from your mother due to what you are doing. Remove the phone from the <laughs> your children, away from the you mic. have children. Oh. Whatever we do to our parents, our children will do it to us. Thanks to. So my sister, be very, very careful. Mm. Marriage, marriage is not everything. Your mother, don't joke with her. Don't make your mother to bleed because of things that are going on within you, your husband, and your family. But there's an opportunity. Any case mm. that, any case that ordinary president 
with his wisdom that he's trying to solve that cannot be solved here. <laughs> you know, when you listen to the father speak, the father is not happy. Mm -mm. The mother is not happy. And you as a prophet, you are comfortable with your daughter. How can you make progress if you think you're making progress? Your mother-in-law should be an extended family to you. Even though some of them may be difficult. I agree. But my sister, please try to make peace with your mom. Hmm. Because I listen to your body language. Your body language is not right. Mm -hmm. Even when nobody was talking to you. Yeah. My name is Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, yeah. Your body language is not right. No, what well, ordinary she don't they, they, they talk to you. There's something where you don't see, where you don't see. If they talk to you, you know, even know where you be. Honestly, because you are doing this program, people are watching, watching, listening to you around the world. They're listening to what you're doing. Your mother is there. Mother, sweet mother, not gonna forget to suffer where you suffer for me. Nobody should talk with your mother. Please. Exactly. I'm a prophet. I expected that you, as a prophet, should have found a way to solve this problem. You had an agreement with them. Those agreements, did you fulfill the agreement? That's the question you should ask yourself. We should be honest. We should, we should tell ourselves the truth from the beginning. You had an agreement with them before they released that child. Did you fulfill those agreements? This is the question you should answer. Um, oh, Barry, thank you so Suko, much. Sukode, before you go, Lizzie Adie, yes, she said, my husband is a Muslim. And when he came to get married to me, my dad told him that he can only marry me in the church. And my husband said yes. And that was what happened. Anyway, that is by the way. You see, uh, Chukudi, the truth here, be say, I they give another, I don't create another window for us to mediate over this matter. Nobody can force her to love her mother. But me, I have prepared the mother's mind. She has lost her daughter. Unless, unless there is a divine intervention somewhere. From the body language. You know, I studied her body language. You can feel, you know, repulsion in her. You know, you can feel the anger in her even towards me. I am not sure... I am not sure. How, Madam, collect microphone. How old is your husband? Uh, 60, 65. 65? Yes. Your husband, and how I'm old are you? Or 50, sir. I'm older than you, her mother, by far. Sure. And she's talking to me like this. But it doesn't really matter. It is because I'm trying to um, ensure peace. Adnari, they have already brainwashed this girl. You see, sorry, I'm not trying to blame the no, prophet. No, or, no, but no, you see, no, there's, no. Already, there's already psychological effect. I'm telling you, sir. No, you know, no. somebody can say in the name of marriage, you know, try to... You uh, know, Chukode, way put you in a Chukode. Yes, sir. No be prophet we do in case where they marry mother and her three daughters... At the same time, not be the same Anambra. Now, prophet, not be prophet. We we do in matter here. We are not saying all of them are fake or bad, but we don't do cases. The um, I don't rush me. I, I, don't rush me. Don't rush me. I, I'll put La Pasha for my wife. Not be prophet. See, you see. That one, a prophet too. Now, senior prophet, sir. So, what I wait, what are we saying? Not from Anambra. It could be anywhere. These fake uh, things they happen even in Islam. Some malams now, uh, now native doctors. When we now see, just, they go just parade themselves under the okay. umbrella of Islam or Christianity. No, be everybody the way talk say God they talk to them. Now they hear. 
God word. Maybe in a devil they blow whistle for him here. But the truth is, keep religion aside. Keep religion aside. Oibo, they respect their in-laws. Talk more of Africans. Talk more of Africans. This is a window of opportunity. For but man, I want to tell you something. Yes, sir. You see, my 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 father-in-law may his soul rest in peace. Mm. He was the he was the second father that I, I never had. Mm -mm. I loved that man till the day he died. Mm -mm. The man took me like his own son. The same with my mother-in-law. They only pray for me. Let that I should just may God bless me. Mm. When I marry their daughter, they, I just open my hand. They speak there, pray for me, say, May God bless me. And God answered the prayer. Alone. God answered the prayer, sir. Your mother in law and your father in law should be your own parents. Hey, but some mother in laws can be difficult. And that's what I said. Uh, like what, this one, one here now, uh, from the man's, uh, the prophet's complaint. This uh, woman here, the mother in law, is difficult. She is the one trying she's to destroy maybe, his marriage. Maybe because she's, she, she sees that she's losing her daughter. She's losing her of daughter. Of course, yeah. The, con the communication mm. is being, being scrapped. Yeah. When she's losing it, she, mm. she's okay. Ah, now I will be alert and, lo and lose my daughter like this. She can, you know, that thing can affect them. Mm. This mm. You can't compare the love of a mother to a daughter. And if it be say among the children, self, if it be say among the children, now her favorite be this maybe. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Make we appreciate Ambassador Chikodi. Make we no over talk. When I go handle this matter, now Kelechi, um, collect the other mic. Borrow from our mother here. Kelechi. Yes, modern president. Stand. Tell Barista. Pamela, yes, you are sir. blocking the camera. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. Tell Barrister Pamela to stand down the NAPTIP, Police, Human Rights Commission, uh, RAPA, and the other. Yes, Madam President. They should be pending. Okay, sir. Let us see how we can resolve this matter okay, amicably. Sir. Okay, sir. I'm on it, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You, Make we appreciate ourselves. As he be say, we don't nearly reach 11 o'clock. Make we just reach 11 o'clock. After all, yesterday, now 1 o'clock, we finished program. Um, I just pray that God will intervene. May God intervene. May God touch all our hearts, including both the complainants and the respondent. You see, like me, no, people no go be like me. They didn't say a mem ordinary present. Whether they talk a mem, you know, God I pray to. Or somebody like me, my daughter won't do anyhow. She go see anyhow. I'm an African father. I know be Oibo. And you see, this poverty we on they see is responsible for many wrong things in our society. For parents to say, Ada, go to Abuja, go to township. Now, because they wish, make her own good. At least, make God use one person, change the history of the family for good. I don't know what I don't understand. Now, the thing be that, poverty. Make when I know they born plenty, if when I know get money. Born the one where you go feel trained by the grace of God. And if you talk now, they say, even in the ones where uh, uh, nah, nah, you get, where get money, now nah, nah you they train the children, now nah God they train. Yes, but you get where you go apply common sense. You get where you go apply common sense. It will say these people, they, they get enough to send it get to school, from secondary school to university. They no go send them come Abuja to, see, to say, stay with the auntie. He get wait, waiting destiny they do. God don't plan the journey for her. But I don't like the way the journey they end. Your mother 
Some people are crying. All they are, all they are wishing is for their mother to come back to life, even if it is for one day. May them worship the mother before she dies. And then somebody get mother. Way out of, yes, the mo woman, the mother no get exposure. Now look how woman, just like my mother. She's not civilized as such, as per today's civilization, just like my mother. Her approach may be crude. Her approach may be, but look at the intention behind the approach. And the way, the, the, as, for as long as this world will keep evolving, she will be here now, the daughter. As at the time where her children go grow, she go be old school. She go be crude. Her ways not go be the same with their ways. Even her understanding. Now be the ways said. now, mm. yes, sir. Sometimes my mother go ask me to do some things. I go, they wonder now my mother be this. Something where ordinarily before, you, you dare not carry it close to my mother. But now, now she, they talk, say, do I? It, it will take me time. I cannot say no to her. I will say, yes, ma. Now I go begin to crack my brain. Which diplomacy I go apply? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I would rather die than to offend my mother. Do you know what it means? How many children you don't train? How, how old are they? Do you know what thing these people pass through in their lives? Some parents, they sell their children because of poverty. It was said they sell you, they pound you for mortar, take do soap. That is all. But they know they endured the poverty. In their poverty state, they were able to do the little they could. You met a man. Who happened? Who turned? Who, who eventually be, be, became your husband? My dear person, we no consider where they come from. When John is spoiled for him, to go back the harder. This is to all the people where they listen to me, strike a balance. Even if the daughter, out of youthful exuberance, out of naivety, says she won't fight her mother, her mother is not giving her husband rest of mind. You, the husband, should sit her down and say, no, I won't take this from you. Not to confirm that the mother is a witch, mm. this person is a witch. Everybody is a witch. Mm. Say, so, so don't worry, I go manage mama. I go, manage, I go manage mama. I go teach you how you In go. my house mm. now, if I if call my mo uh, my wife now, say, me and your mother talk. You know who, who, are, who me and I'm talk? My biological mother. Mm. Now she be her mother. When she says her mother called her, it means my biological, we, we don't share them. Collect my own, make I collect your own. Mm. I, I remember for my house, ordinary present. Sometimes, one time. Oh, sorry, sir. Mm. Sometimes, I deliberately, I go just say, ah, I know send uh, my mother uh, some things, so do like this, do like this, do like this. I talk to him in the morning. I go come in the evening. I go ask her, hey, you don't send, she say, what of my own mother? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir. We, we don't just start them now from the foundation. We will respect my mother. I respect your mother. And I'm the man. Please, may God Almighty intervene in this matter. Yes. 
Amen. I just pray that at the end of the day, we will have every reason to glorify God Almighty. Amen. On behalf of... Oh, sorry, Consultor. Oh, ordinary present. Now, just a quick one. I remember one time like that where my wife, they get disagreement with her own mother in mm-hmm. the house. Uh-huh. And the argument, they go up. But when I look at my, I say, how me will be the man, mm-hmm. the husband of this woman, mm-hmm. go there? Now, this argument go come reach this level. Yes. Let me consider them down say, Abba, Mama, no be your age. Mm-hmm. Even though you think, say, what thing she they ask, no, they write. But Not my house, but leave them. See how you go manage them. Diplomatically. Because you one day go reach in age. You don't know, even know how you go behave and how it go be with you that time. Let's appreciate Condot and Ike. That is wisdom as a man, an African man. On behalf of everybody, we're now waiting. Bye.